if, like me, you're a Sherlock fan and you like to know the locations where they film and why they choose to film there, then there's only one thing to do when you find out that there is a Sherlock trail in your city. Visit Bristol have created this map on which they've named all the locations in which Sherlock was filmed, so of course there's only one thing for me to do and that is to go and film it myself. for me today is here at the Colston Hall which is where they filmed the Christmas special in 2016, The Abominable Bride. They filmed the scene down in the cellars which is usually off limits to members of the public but today Colston Hall have granted me special access. I believe this is where they filmed Sherlock beating the corpse. Looks a little bit different now, there's no film set, there's no film crew, but you can imagine when everybody is in costume with the lights and that Victorian feel, it would look incredible. And these cellars weren't just used for Sherlock, they also filmed Skins here, which of course was set in Bristol, and most recently BBC One's Poldark was also filmed here. The next location is Ashton Court Estate where they filmed the horse and carriage scene in The Abominable Bride. Ashton Court Estate has a huge, huge mansion, hundreds of acres, so I couldn't tell you exactly where it is, but it is the perfect location. Some of the venues aren't very easy to gain access to, for example, Goldney Hall behind me, which is where John and Mary's wedding scene was filmed in The Sign of Three one of my favourite episodes. Another location where they filmed The Abominable Bride was here in Cathedral Square, which is at the rear of Bristol Cathedral. I actually graduated from university here a few years ago, and it is one of the most fantastic architectural buildings in Bristol. You might remember the scene, it's where she seeks revenge on her husband and shoots him. Queen Square, which is in the city centre, is one of Bristol's most picturesque locations. Its famous cobbly roads help transform it for another scene in The Abominable Bride. And just around the corner there's King Street and with a little help from a green screen it was transformed into a Victorian London. Remember that scene in The Sign of Three where Lestrade and Sergeant Donovan rushed to Sherlock's aid? That was filmed here in the Victoria Rooms at the top of Park Street. So now I'm in Portland Square in St Paul's, which is the location they used for the bonfire scene in the empty hearse. You might remember Dr John Watson is trapped and Sherlock Holmes comes to his rescue. And by coincidence, this location was also used in the 2010 Doctor Who Christmas special, Snowman. In the episode A Scandal in Belgravia, Sherlock and Moriarty come face to face and that was filmed here at Bristol South Wall. But this famous swimming pool in Bristol doesn't just appear in that episode, it also appears in The Great Game. Last stop for me on the Sherlock Holmes tour of Bristol is Arnisvale Cemetery, which is one of Bristol's most historic sites. They filmed another scene from The Abominable Bride here. Now it is 45 acres, so it's pretty huge. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to find the exact spot where they filmed, but I can completely understand why they chose Arnis Vale, because it's fast and it's, it's so peaceful. And I can't believe I've never visited here before, but this Sherlock Holmes tour has given me the perfect opportunity to come here.